Hey, Thrond here. Hey, this is Elton Graham. And we're back with the uh, Scottish basket hilted sword. And the French briquet, uh, the infantry briquet. Yeah, and this is a back sword. This one's actually a back sword blade. It only has an edge on one side and it's not extremely broad. It's a nice blade, extremely long and sharp. And uh, this, of course, is your uh, military saber. Uh, this is from the Napoleonic War era. The infantry. The, it's the infantry it's saber. A, and it's a beautiful edge because it's uh, very, very sharp. Carefully. It's a, a, a single bevel. It's not a double bevel edge, so it's it's awesome. But what we need to know is we need to know uh, which one won. We've got almost an even amount of votes. We were looking. Well, it's not even votes. almost even. It's dead even. Dead these two even. have a dead well, even. We can tell. It's a dead heat discount. between these yeah. two. So what we're asking you to do is in the comments thread, make sure you, you tell us exactly which sword you want to do. Unfortunately, this will not be the first swords uh, done, uh, the first items done of that shipment on Christmas. Uh, you're all Tim. Uh, the gentleman who runs Medieval Shop has requested to see the Corsicue or Corsica. He wants to see it uh, against some kind of armor. And uh, that was his own, uh, I guess, uh, reasoning behind sending it. He saw some of our videos where we actually tried to punch holes through armor. And he thinks it'll do extremely well. I can't guarantee you that that's what it will do. I mean, all armor could punch holes through, but I guarantee you that it will uh, go under uh, any of the gussets or the, uh, any of the areas where you have uh, niches. But we're going to try to go through the plate as well. That's so right. Yeah, that's what he requested. So he wanted to see what it would do. So. Right, and then then we'll come back with swords that that you vote on. Whichever one you pick. Whoever, whatever, whichever one you vote on, we'll come back with that. But we really want to satisfy our sponsor over at Medieval Shop. Uh, right, he Tim. requested it first, and it's not a sword. We're going yeah, to swords, swords here. Which swords do you want to see? If it's not one of these two, then let us know. But uh, you can this, go down this below. Is the, this but is these the, are the two that it's uh, come up come down to pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. And so, yeah, we, 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 we're we eager to do either one. I'm really excited about either of these blades. I think they're both one. I think it's awesome. Even this is short. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks just like the uh, Glasgow Museum. As right short here. as this uh, edge, handle, the hilt. As, as short as this and blade is, I have to say that uh, you don't feel like you got a lot in it, but I think it's going to perform a lot like the Nawe 2 from Neil Burridge. Yeah, they took pieces of skull off of our uh, analog ballistic shell head. They actually cut a hunk of skull off with that one. Was beautiful. Believe it or not, of all, video, of all the swords, it. I've started to kind of warm up to this one out of that Christmas oh, package. Very nice, well made. Uh, so I can't wait to test it. Uh, I'm starting to get a feel for it. Thrain's starting to get a feel for it. Uh, I kind of. I'm I definitely want to take a few does. swings with that one. Oh, definitely. I'll yeah, certainly see if I can cut through something, uh, some heavy uh, roll to. Newspaper. Newspaper and, to Tommy. Maybe like. Bottles, uh, whatever we've, we can get our hands on. Get that gel head going, see how that goes. Maybe even do a Gambison test with it. Sure. That'd be, that'd be test great. Test that single that bevel. Oh, against the yeah. uh, katana, that'd be kind of a neat little test, maybe later. So yeah, a lot of good things. Yeah, about I these. think this is going to actually do better in thrusting than you would imagine. Yeah. With the design, uh, it's actually a single edge. It's not a double edge. That's why I said it's a back sword. The design. Yeah. It's also extremely long. Uh, this would do great uh, against uh, rapiers and so on. If you were using it at that time period, people were still car they were carrying rapiers as well as uh, going against bayonets with uh, charges. So, I mean, this would be great at the thrust. I mean, you'd get the reach with it. I actually well, like it, and I think it has a nice cut. Oh, well, we're going to find out, that's for sure. Out. And uh, we want you to tell us which one we're going to find out uh, first, you know, which of these swords yeah, we're going to... Vote down below, put your uh, comments in, and right. which one you'd like to see, and what yeah. you th how you think the uh, Corsa Q is going to perform. The yeah, yeah, the Corsa Q, we're really excited about that armor test. Uh, you know, we talked about putting some ballistics gel under there, and... Uh, Kind of making the test interesting. Oh, certainly. See how yeah. deep we can get. Have to look up That's right. Yeah. Through. So uh, we're looking forward to that coming up real soon. Uh, sorry for the delay on videos again. As you know, we we're, we're having some scheduling conflicts, and this is not uh, anything that Brand and I desire. We'd we'd love to be doing this twenty four seven. Like this, we would like for this to be oh, our job. Yeah, that's what we want to do. That's just what yeah. we'd like to make our uh, actual main career, not our secondary. Uh, yeah. This so far, you know, it's been we enjoy sort of like, doing. It's what yeah. we love to do. Uh, so yeah, your donations always help us to uh, achieve that goal. Uh, that also helps us get more equipment. As you can see, we've been using a green screen lately. Uh, so be sure you're subscribing to our channel. Uh, that helps us out a lot. Subscribers are we love new subscribers. You get uh, alerts as soon as new content comes out or anything that we uh, like online. You're gonna get alerted to those things through uh, YouTube and Google, I believe. Oh, and, certainly. Uh, and uh, Facebook, if you become a member of our. Uh Grand Elgrim's Well of Remembrance, uh, you get updates there, but if you really want to get the exclusive content, you want to do the uh, private group. Our private group on uh, Facebook is the uh, Thane Thran YouTube Boat Crew, and if you uh, send us a request there, we'll let you write in, and you'll get exclusive content and get to actually 
put some input in what comes next, like uh, yeah. discuss it with us on there. And, That's and right. Put links and stuff to stuff you'd like to show us and so on. Right. And like I said, don't forget about uh, donating. Uh, your donations really help us a whole lot. Uh, you can go to www.patreon.com slash thrand and uh, donate there. Uh, a dollar helps, a hundred dollars helps. So if you want to do a one-time donation or send us something, you can go to uh, thanethrand at yahoo.com or that is also the PayPal uh, ID, ID if you mm -hmm. want to send us money. Be sure and send us a message and let us know right. what you want us to do with it because we like to try to actually uh, do something that you like for the donations. We want to do a video you would like or test something you would like. Right. Uh, and you bring it to our attention and show it to us. And right, right, we exactly. Can, if we can pull it off and do it for you, we certainly will. Uh, well, thank you for watching, and uh, we can't wait to come back with that uh, Corsica, and uh, you know, we're looking forward to your Scottish boats. basket hilted sword, yeah. So vote on these. Uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I have to disagree. I want to see this one first, but you guys are the deciders, so let us know, and uh, thank you for watching again, and uh, farewell. Farewell.